fifteen is you know, you get your um you get your cows, they start producing milk immediately and they start breeding immediately, but only um you know, you'll get one new cow every however many hours. Well, I kind of like how season says you buy a bunch of cows, they're gonna be pregnant for nine months, so you're gonna to have to sit on that and wait. Did I end up back in the well, Because I pressed walk forwards and I wasn't pushing walk forwards. There we go. Okay, so that's I suppose what we should do. Uh, send off the soil analysis samples while we try to head back to the farm. I think there's a mailbox down on the main road. So yeah, I, I appreciate the new elements. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they work, what they do. Um, they're changing the textures of the ground. So you've got ground with stubble, ground that is ploughed, ground that is cultivated. Um, uh, what else? Just just all the things and all the stuff. So. We'll have to see. The other thing, uh, yeah, the other reason I'm going to be delaying is I want precision farming. So we're going to have to wait till that comes out. That's not coming out until I think first quarter of 22. Possibly mid to late first quarter of 22. So that's, that's going to be a thing we won't have available immediately. So I'm, um, yeah. But depending on what the world brings, I may try streaming some of my, hey, let's learn how uh, Farming Sim 22 works. And just mess around, do some stuff. I mean, the thing, yeah, it's what, 22nd of November it comes out. So I might stream Thanksgiving Day and Friday uh, mornings. Um, and just do farm sim 22 rather than um, what I'd normally do would be an Oakfield farm bonus edition but uh, I may try that uh, you know, problem is at the moment my weekdays are or week, weekday nights are not uh, something I can predict so I don't want to say, yeah, I'm streaming on yeah, whatever day during the week from 7 o'clock and then it ends up, well, I couldn't get here till 9.30 and I'm going to stream for 30 minutes and then I've got to go to bed type of thing. So, uh, why am I taking this somewhere? I don't know why I'm taking that somewhere. Let's put it back under the shed. At least keep it covered in case it rains. Turn the engine off. So, that is sheep fed and uh, ground analysis. Well, should we take a look, see what the ground analysis says? Ooh, it's purple. We have a little bit of clay in the corner, or grey. So this is nice. This is a good field and wasted on grass. So, as soon as the ground is warming up, I'm ploughing in three, I'm ploughing in twenty, and then We'll be ploughing in 26, I think 8. Let us take a look. -see. Well, let's go there and take a look. -see. Um, so, yeah, we got oil seed radish there, oil seed radish there. Those two are ploughing in. 3's getting ploughed in. 20's getting ploughed in. And that gives me stuff. This will be sunflower. 26 is sunflowers. I think eight might be soybean, uh, not soybeans, um, sugar beets. Three will be soy, uh, potatoes, and twenty will be something interesting. I have no idea what. Uh, rye is rye. Twenty could be 
I mean, we did 27 last time. How big is 27? Uh, 13.19. It's 9.25. I mean, we could do some root crops on 20 as well. Just because they're worth a ton of money. Okay. Well, that's... That's the plan for now. We have to sleep. Ah, oh, now, that's the other thing. Um, our former foster kids are coming to visit today, and they should be arriving very soon. So we will be ending the stream when they get there. But goals for the stream. Great demand at the spinnery. Oh, you didn't just do that, did you? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Where is... There is. Am I going crazy? Did I not go back far enough? There's the wall. Oh, you know what I think is on great demand for spinnery? I think it's cotton. And cotton is not a thing on this map. Spinnery. Okay, no worries. So yeah, cotton, uh, what's it? Cotton is something you sell at the spinnery, but it's not available on this map. Now, as far as wool is concerned, I will confirm this, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, where is wool? Wool, there's wool. So wool best price is tail end of spring. So that's that's the day I plan to sell all the wool we have. And then there's three more days of wool production before the next thing. Oh, I was going to move my sheep, but I guess that's going to happen. Uh, drop down to 12 hours. I want my man to look at the wool. Spring is here, yay! Defend case, yeah. House drag, scorpion, defender, get out. And let's get out again. Okay, we'll fill the dog bowl up and we'll go check on the wall crates. And we have. Seriously. Okay, that one worked. That one didn't work. That's a pain. Because that is approximately full. Oh, that is full. Okay. So that one's filling up. That's good, and that should have a thousand wool in it. There about eleven hundred wool. Nice. For some reason, this isn't working, so I'm going to drag it that way to be approximately where the wool was spawning. This one will move since it's a full crate. We'll stick it back in our shed. ton of wool to move in thousand litre crates. Really not looking forward to moving this lot, which is why we bought those um, wool things. So the plan here is these should fill up and I think it takes 32,000 litres of uh, wool size of pallet I bought so and I don't have any sheep in this um, shed I'll move that out a little way I'm gonna leave that exactly where it is because it should fill up so ground is wet and uh, have some food dog um, and workable so 
let us review. We need to do 20 and 3. Going to have to turn on grass so that they uh, appear as workable fields. They're growing. That's nice. They have no weeds. They don't need plowing. So we don't need to plow any of the fields. They just need to cultivate various fields and plan planting. So when are we planting stuff? Uh, right here. We can plant all of the cereals plus canola. Not sunflowers. Not corn. Um, but see the advantage here is I can get barley harvested here and I can still plant corn here. So it is time to plant potatoes and sugar beets. So what am I going to put in eight? How big is eight? Field eight is over here. Five. 5, 14 acres, 25 is 8, and 16, and how big is 9? It's 1.9, 1.9 and 5.4, it's about 7, that is 9. How much is that cost? 126. See. An option I now have is potentially rip these two fields out, possibly 11 as well, and plant clover in all three of those fields and make this arable. So it, it's within this arable group of fields. What is pink? Miscanthus? Yeah. Ooh. Now there's the thought. Uh, there are fertilizing contracts, there are bailing contracts, whatever. Hi dog. Okay, go get the bunnies. I think someone forgot to turn the lights off on a tractor. Well, I'm gonna have to recharge that battery. Much better, okay. You know what? I think we'll take this one with us. Class is good. The weight needs fixed, but outside of that... But yeah, I, I'd want field 11 as a clover field just so that um, we're, we're not losing clover. I'm not worried about that, but it is a, a twice yearly income at the BGA. Okay, somewhere over here. I need some more light. There we go. Somewhere over here. I think that big red thing. Our cultivator. So we definitely need to cultivate. We'll start off. Hmm, where should we start? I think I'll probably start with field three. go to field 20. I may need to put lime down on both of them. We'll do that after we've ploughed. Or cultivated, because it's just easier to see. It's hard to see lime on the grass, which is basically what we're doing here. And then once that's done. We can actually look at planting both the fields. Got stuff growing here. Do not recall what we're growing here. But we do have the big ripper. Um, yeah, you 
don't turn harrows on plant or cultivators on. Why is this not doing? Because uh, I'm not in the field. Well, that would explain a lot. There we go. Okay. just outside the edge. So I think we'll do potatoes in this one. We'll do sugar beets in the other one. I mean, we do have the cheap potato harvesting stuff, but Quite frankly, it's still a big pain in the butt to operate as a single player. However, potatoes do make a lot of money, so that's just a thing we're going to have to cater with. Cater for, cater to, do something with. Because of the size of the equipment we're running here, this will not take long. Although that tractor is struggling with this hill. Do do. hoping we do have enough sugar beet seeds. I'm not sure we have enough seed potatoes. So that might be a tiny issue for us because potatoes are just horrible um, for seed. We need tons of them to plant a field. So I haven't done carrots either, but that's kind of the problem. We don't have a decent carrot harvester except the half million pound one, and I can't justify that piece of equipment for sugar beets or potatoes, let alone starting a whole new crop. But it's probably worth it, eventually. But it comes back to the goal of buying land. You know, I can buy a ton of land and it will make me more and more money each year. Um, I can buy equipment, bigger equipment, it does not make me more and more money each year. It just gives me more time to harvest the land I already have. So I am fine with, yeah, it's, again, I'm playing three day seasons. Last, uh, with the, the original map before we did the reboot, we were playing two, six day seasons. So two days per early spring, mid spring, late spring. And that was probably going to get a little bit tight sooner or later. We were gonna need a bigger harvester. Not necessarily bigger tractor. I mean, the tractors we have are huge comparatively. You know, 400 horsepower tractors. We really don't need anything bigger than that. Case quad track? No, not really. John Deere 9RX? Yeah, no, not really. But, uh, yeah. More working tractors? Yeah, there's the potential there. I don't think I need to. But, uh, but the harvester, you know, I, we've got the small fed harvester. And so we could possibly get more done with a slightly bigger or even a big, big harvester like the Lexian or the Takano. Yeah, they're both bigger than the one we have. So we have to stop less often to unload. We have to, and they have wider headers, so they, they clear the fields faster. But like I said, we had all of our early spring crops, or winter crops, 
harvest it in a day. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to need to wait, you know, do half of them today, half of them tomorrow. They were done and we were looking for contracts. And planting winter crops means you don't have as much trouble with uh, weather. As you do with fall crops. Now, you know, potatoes and sugar beets don't suffer from damp conditions, so you can harvest those anytime. I've done this field, we'll jump over to 20 and plough that one. As I said, we can plant anything, I oh, know, we can't plant sunflowers yet. I really don't know. I could, I could plant some extra clover in 8 just because... Just to get it started, because we do mow. Yeah, we we tend to go up that side of the uh, farm with the mowing kit. So just being there to uh, cut the clover, and then yeah, maybe turn nine into a clover field as well, because we have zero use for grass now. So that might be a thing. It won't take long to plant both of those fields with clover. Just can't afford eleven at the moment. That's a bit sad. If I could afford 11, then uh, I could consider turning 25 arable as well already. Uh, and again, this is one of those, well, I could borrow the money for it. Just make it all happen. Right, maybe I will. could buy 11, plough all of those fields, plant clover in all of those fields, and then um, maybe even in the uh, yard behind the, the cow barn. That gets rid of all of our grass fields. Mm. Like I said, I don't need it. I need everything that the sheep eat is clover. So, but I'm, I'm you know, planting clover, I'm concerned that I may only get one cut because it takes a, you know, it has to go through the germination. Um, whereas the fields where the clover is currently at, um, they are now growing. As of right now, it's spring, they're growing. So we don't have to worry about them. Uh, we'll definitely get two cuts out of them. Uh, but that extra stage of germinating... Mm, don't know if that will work. So maybe we'll keep 25 as clover right now. Plant eight and nine, and the field or in the pasture behind the cow shed with clover. And then maybe, and then just leave them. We'll get clover cut out of 25, which will put us early summer, and then we could look at planting a winter crop in that field. Especially if 8, 9 and the other one are established. And we could borrow money for 11 and plant that one as well. That might be a plan. Don't have a lot of money. That's the only issue. That's always my concern. We don't have a lot of money. So I don't really want to waste it all now.
but it'll be, it would be good to have all of the clover for production um, around our farm just because see field 11 right there is 126,000 I would probably borrow 150 and buy that Just because it then gives me a little bit more working capital for the beginning of the year. And we should pay that off almost immediately with the first clover cut. starts out on gra as grass on Oxygen David's version of this map, but starts out ready to be arable on the Farming Agency version of this map, is back to arable after I planted it with grass last year. second pass either. Well that's unfortunate. I'm definitely not going to get all of it if I uh, don't drop the, uh, the, the thing. Okay, you're done. believe okay so that field is probably spelled that's fine we have no nothing to perform on that fields that are growing stuff right now so next field is 20 let's run over there we'll probably turn off the rear working lights should probably turn off the front working lights as well except that's not a separate button You can map buttons to various lights, so you can say, you know, driving lights, front working lights, rear working lights. But uh, that's not. Or you can just do lights, so it topples through them. I have one button, I'm using the default farm sim control panel, so uh, one button is mapped to lights and toggles between the, all the settings, and one is rear work lights, so I have independent action on the rear work lights, I don't have any options for the front work lights. So we'll just blind these drivers as we drive through the countryside. Okay. And up there. So, yeah, 20, definitely a good field to do arable in. Um, it's loamy soil, so it's a bit of a waste having um, grass in it, I think. if the minimap showed the ground 
when you're uh, plowing so I can see where I'm supposed to go because this field's all sorts of weird shape. It's extra land for us this year. Just here on the right. Come on, where's the gate? There's the gate. Oh, kitties are here. Okay, well, I think we are going to call it here since I'm going to have to let in kids and it's about to get loud. So I will be doing the rest of this probably off camera. But for now, have fun, everybody. I'm